Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up, install, and use NVIDIA Broadcast with OBS, games, and other applications. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Now, downloading NVIDIA Broadcast is the easiest way to get started, but it's not something that you need. If you're just planning to use this only in OBS when you're streaming as a filter, all you're going to need to do is download the NVIDIA Audio Effects SDK, but I'm going to cover both how to install the SDK for just OBS and NVIDIA Broadcast. So if you want to use it in game to remove some of the noise in your background, I'll be showing both ways. And the first way I'm going to show is just if you want to install the filter to OBS so that you can remove sound from your stream. For this, all we're going to need to do is install the video effects from NVIDIA. This is just going to add a filter to remove background noise, but this way will not let you use it in games or other applications. For that, you're going to want NVIDIA Broadcast. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to use it with applications and games, I'll be covering that next. To get started, it's pretty easy. We're just going to Google search for the NVIDIA Broadcast SDK Redistributable or the NVIDIA Audio Effects SDK. When you search this, it's going to come up with a couple of different options. We're going to scroll down to the one that says NVIDIA Broadcast Download Resources, and I will make sure to leave a link to everything that you need down in the description below. Once we're on this here page, all we're going to need to do is scroll down, and it's going to have audio effects, video effects, and AR. For noise removal, all we're going to need to do is get the audio effects. So in here, all we're going to have to do is select the one for our current generation. So a 20 series, a 30 series, or a 40 series NVIDIA video card is required for this. If you don't have one of these cards, unfortunately, it's not going to work. And do make sure you download the one for your card and install it. So make sure that you check. If you have a 30 series card, download the one for the 30. If you have a 20 series card, download the correct one. If you do not download the correct one, it's not going to work. So definitely make sure you double check. For me, this is going to be the RTX 30 series. The download should only take a second. It's a 563 megabytes as of the time of this year recording. So it is going to take a minute to download. It is fairly big. Well, that's downloaded and I just wanted to go into my OBS and into my audio. In your audio, you, there's a way you can add filters. And in here in the noise suppression, it has a few options. Right now, it only has two options. I just wanted to make sure that I show that before I install the audio effects. We're just going to give this here a close. Make sure OBS is closed before you install this or you'll have to restart. Just close down your OBS before you get started and then launch the installer. This is going to install like any other application that's going to pop up and prompt you to allow the installation. Click yes. You're going to have to agree to the terms and continue and then you'll have to click close after it's installed. After that's installed, we're going to launch OBS. After OBS is launched, we're going to go check to make sure that the filter is installed correctly. We're just going to go into filters, go to noise suppression. In the method, in the drop down, you should now see NVIDIA noise removal, NVIDIA room echo removal, and the noise removal and echo removal option here. So that's as easy as it is to add it to OBS. This is all you're going to need is the audio effects SDK from NVIDIA, and it will give you the option to use it as a filter in here. But again, this does not allow you to use it in, let's say, games and other applications. So if you're planning to use this in like games and other applications, the NVIDIA broadcast will allow you to have these here filters applied to your mic directly. So I'm going to cover that now. We're just going to give this one here a close. I'm not going to change the method to the NVIDIA noise removal in here because I'm going to install NVIDIA broadcast next and show you how that one works. We're going to give everything a close here. Back on the same website that we came from where we downloaded the audio effects, if we scroll up, it's going to say NVIDIA broadcast application. So we're just going to click on it from here. This is just an easy way to get from it if you're already here or if you're searching for it, it's on the same page. This is just going to be the same thing. We're just going to click the download. After it's downloaded, we're going to have to go through the install process. The NVIDIA broadcast application is a lot smaller in size than the audio effects. I'm not sure why, but that's just the way it is. We're just going to click it. It's going to ask us. We have to click yes. And then we're going to have to accept the terms and conditions. The same, the same as for the last one. Just click agree and continue. And then install options is express and custom. If you're a more advanced user, use the custom. But for us, we just want the express recommended. We just want the just normal settings. This one here is going to take a few minutes to install. So I'll get back to you in a second. After it's installed, we're just going to click close. Now keep in mind the first time this here launches, this is going to change a couple of your audio sources 
possibly. It doesn't always, but sometimes it does change my speaker. It says speaker output changed. You do not want this. You do not want your speaker set as a NVIDIA broadcast. This is going to remove footsteps from your games. This is going to remove other things. So if you're using the NVIDIA broadcast and applying it to your mic, make sure it's not applied to your speakers. So in here, when it prompts you in the audio, the audio playback, on the drop down, pick your speakers. Do not use the NVIDIA broadcast speakers unless you're trying to stop, like someone's talking noise, background noise from coming to you. If you're playing a game, this is a bad idea. So definitely change it back to your speakers. You want all of the sound. You want the footsteps you want the gun explosions you want you want that stuff if you apply the nvidia broadcast to your speakers or your headphones anything coming through your headphones this is great for if you're in a conference call and someone's got noisy stuff in the background you can just turn it on and it's perfect but it's not something that's great for games so after that's done we're just going to make sure that we select our speaker so that it stays the same and it'll warn us here we'll just give this a close this page is pretty basic microphone speakers and camera It'll give you all the different options, but we're going to go to the microphone. This is the only one we care about today. In the drop down, we're going to make sure we pick our microphone. This is going to be the microphone you use either on stream or in game. If it's the same mic, you just pick the same mic. If they're different mics, you're going to have to set it for both mics. So in here, we're just going to set it for the main mic. And it's another good option. If you're going to set it for more than one mic, you'll be able to use this on your, let's say, your headset mic that you use in game. And then you'll be able to add the OBS filter onto the streaming mic so you will be able to use this here effect on more than one mic even though there's only one option here that is one of the reasons why i download the the plugin and the sdk so that i can use the filters inside obs as well so if you have two mics that is a workaround for it you, you can use both the filter in obs and this here as well so what we're going to do like i said is just pick our main mic that's just microphone for me because i only have the one mic here and that is it now in other applications in other applications like obs it's going to say new audio device device detected discord has detected a new audio device input named nvidia broadcast do you want to switch it now you can switch it now by clicking this and then it'll automatically switch it we're gonna click don't switch we're gonna go into the settings we're gonna go down here to the video and audio settings and in the voice settings and output settings we can click the drop down menu and it's gonna give us now two options it's gonna be our microphone a normal one or the microphone with the NVIDIA broadcast pass-through so now this is gonna make it so that I have noise removal in OBS and it'll be the same with games and other applications it will be the same for a lot of other applications you just need to select your input mic as the NVIDIA broadcast Broadcast mic. It would be the same for games like Apex. All you'll need to do is go to the settings. In the settings, in the audio settings, you'll go down to where it says voice chat. Voice chat input de device should be system default or depending on what you have it set. You'll just change this here over to the NVIDIA broadcast and you're set. There you go. Just make sure that you save your settings before you leave them. And that's it. I just wanted to give a quick example of how to add it in an application and a game. Once this is installed and the correct mic is selected, you'll have the option in most games and applications as a drop down or a slider or another option for the NVIDIA mic. After it's set, you can close it and it's just going to idle down here. After it's closed, it should show up down here in the icon tray is the NVIDIA broadcast. So if you do need it again, you can click on it right quick. If it doesn't load up after you install it, you may have to search it in your Windows settings by just opening up your search and typing in NVIDIA. It should come up with the NVIDIA Broadcast EXE or NVIDIA Broadcast application. Just click it and launch it from there. So if it didn't launch, just launch it manually and you'll be able to do all the same steps. Sometimes it doesn't launch. That's That was a thing in the older versions of it when it first came out, but it hasn't been a problem for quite a while. But that's all there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.